Hello and welcome to Med Simplified. In this video, we're going to learn about a cool new trick to remember the urea cycle. So, urea cycle is a biochemical pathway that runs in our body and does the main job of converting ammonia to urea. Guys, before watching this video, make sure you have seen the video about urea cycle on our channel to have a complete understanding about this topic. So this is the urea cycle. This is a biochemical cycle that operates in both mitochondria as well as the cytoplasm of the cell and performs the main job of converting toxic ammonia to urea. As you can see in this cycle, it has some key molecules that are used in this pathway which are shown in the orange color. And it also has all the enzymes that catalyze these reactions which are shown in gray color with dashed outlines. First, let's try to memorize all the intermediate molecules of urea cycle and then we will take a look at a mnemonic that will help us to remember all the enzymes of the urea cycle as well. So let's start with our first mnemonic and for this mnemonic, listen to this story. Once upon a time, you left your home for college and on your way to college, you saw an orange colored cat. This cat was very strange. As soon as you got close, you were able to hear what that cat was saying. And she said, I want an awesome umbrella. What a stupid story. But that brings us to our first mnemonic, which is orange colored cats always ask for awesome umbrellas. In this mnemonic, the O in the orange stands for ornithine, which is this molecule right here. The C in colored stands for carbamyl phosphate, which is this molecule here formed by the combination of ammonia with carbon dioxide. The C in cats stands for our next molecule, which is the citrulline. Citrulline is formed by the combination of carbamyl phosphate with ornithine. The A in always stands for aspartate which is this amino acid here, which gets combined with citrulline. The A in ASK stands for arginino-succinate, which is this molecule here, formed by the combination of aspartate with citrulline. The F in FOR stands for fumarate, which is this molecule right here, which is formed by the cleavage of arginino-succinate. The A in awesome stands for arginine, which is the next molecule in the urea cycle. The U in umbrellas stands for urea, which is the final product that is produced in the urea cycle. This mnemonic pretty much covers all the intermediate molecules of urea cycle. But remember guys, if you don't have a conceptual knowledge of urea cycle, there is no point in cramming all these names. Next, let's take a look at our second mnemonic that will help us to memorize all the enzymes that are involved in the urea cycle. And for this, listen to this stupid story first. So you are at a party with your family and you are sitting with your brother. Suddenly you see some of your aunts join the party and they were very interested in throwing darts at the dartboard. But not even a single dart thrown by your aunts hit the board. So you laughed and said to your brother, can your aunts aim accurately? This brings us to our second mnemonic of urea cycle. Can our aunts aim accurately? The C in CAN stands for carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1, which is this enzyme right here. And this does the job of combining ammonia with carbon dioxide and leads to the formation of carbamyl phosphate. The O in R stands for ornithine transcarbamylase. This is the enzyme right here that is involved in the combination of ornithine and carbamyl phosphate leading to the formation of citrulline. The A in ants stands for arginino-succinate synthetase. This enzyme is located right here and this does the job of combining aspartate with citrulline to form the arginino-succinate. The A in AIM stands for our next enzyme which is the arginino-succinate lyase. 
This enzyme breaks down arginine-succinate into fumarate and arginine. The A in accurately stands for our next enzyme which is arginase. Arginase is the enzyme which splits arginine into urea and ornithine. So these were the two mnemonics that will help you to remember the intermediate molecules as well as the enzymes that are involved in the urea cycle. Thank you so much for watching. If you want all the flashcards and the lecture handouts from this video and all our other previous videos on YouTube, make sure to join our channel by clicking the join button below. You can also join our community at patreon.com and get all these benefits plus behind the scenes of these videos, early notifications and much more. Thank you so much for watching.